Today I'm going to be doing a story time, if you can't tell from the title, and I'm going to be telling you about my past college experience. So I have a pretty unique college path, if you would call it, and I wanted to share my past college experience so that I can, you know, kind of reflect and, you know, make changes for my, you know, current college experience, and I want to share that with you because you guys might find it helpful so without further ado let's get into today's video and let me tell you where I've been okay guys so I'm gonna just jump into it and start with my story if you guys see me looking down at all it's because I have my iPad here and I wrote down everything that I wanted to talk about and I want to make sure that I touch on everything um, because everything's relevant to the story so in 2013 I graduated high school I got accepted into a private college and I went right to college after after high school um i started out on a bad note i did not have a laptop so i was struggling trying to complete all of my work by 11 p.m every night um all my papers and typing everything out at the library um i did not have all of my books for school because i could not afford them so i only had part of my book so i was trying to do the work as best as I could with what I had and I started to get behind in one of my classes and because I was getting behind in that class I ended up stop going to that class because I did not have a way to get that book so that you know I was you know ashamed and embarrassed so I never said anything to the teacher I just stopped going so my friends were starting to ask me where I was and what I was, you know, why I wasn't coming to class. And I started to become really depressed and anxious about the whole situation. And I actually stopped going to all of my classes. And I spent the remainder of my semester in my dorm room. I went to work and then I went home on the weekends. And then I ended up failing out. So that was an unfortunate situation. There wasn't really much I could have done to fix the situation granted I should have talked to the teachers but in that situation I was so you know ashamed and embarrassed that I even had to you know talk to the teachers about something like that because everybody else had their books and I you know was upset that I was like the only person that did it so that happened I took time off from school and fast forward to 2015 I now have a daughter my daughter Alexandria and I am considering going back to school so I go to the local community college and I apply I take the test I get everything set up to go to the local community college and the there was a miscommunication between myself and the financial aid office they told me that I was gonna have to pay about two thousand dollars out of pocket and at that time being a newish you know mom I did not have the funds to do so so I ended up not going at that time so you fast forward to 2017 I during that you know time I'd just been working and I'd been taking care of my daughter and I decide that I'm going back to school this is the time that I'm gonna go back to school so I went back to the community college and I spoke with the financial aid office again and I come to find out that all of my grants and everything would cover my entire tuition and I didn't have to pay anything out of pocket so I was very grateful for that so I started going to school um, I did okay my first semester I didn't do phenomenal I didn't do great I was going I was going to be an English major and I did pretty average basic grades and then I was looking at some of the other majors because I just wanted to see what was out there because I didn't know all what was out there and I stumbled upon respiratory therapy and I know nothing about respiratory therapy until I saw it on the major list for the community college so I did my research on it and I was like wow I was like this sounds awesome I was like this is what I want to do so there community college here has four different campuses and the campuses are 
some majors are only available at some campuses. So I went to a different campus to do the English that I then I would do um, the respiratory therapy. So I started at the new campus and I, I love the campus. I you know was really excited to start. I took my first biology class there and I fell in love with anatomy and everything about the body. So I was really excited you know to be taking my prerequisites to get into the respiratory therapy program. And then I ran into a problem math class is the worst for me i'm terrible at math i can do basic math i can do percentages like you know I, i'm a couponer so i can do you know couponing like that um and you know move the decimal point and everything division multiplying algebra and i do not get along so i struggle with algebra and i ended up taking this class three times and I failed all three times now the first time that I took the class I had a teacher and he was probably the worst teacher I've ever had we had um, four students in the class three of them ended up withdrawing and one student stayed in the class and I'm pretty sure he ended up failing the class because this teacher would go on and on about one topic and then you would go to ask him questions and he wouldn't answer your questions, he would rush through the other topics, and then you would be lost the entire time. So I ended up withdrawing, I ended up going to the Dean's office actually about this particular situation, and nothing ended up being done about it, but you know, I withdrew so that I did not take the failing grade. So the second time that I went to take this math class, I took it at um, during the summer. And that was a mistake because it was an accelerated class because it was a, instead of being a 10 week class it was a five week class and I'm not good at math to begin with so I failed that class as well the third time I went to take it I had some personal things going on in my my personal life and I was not able to devote the attention and the time that I needed to the material to really learn the material so I also failed that time so at this point I was not able to take this class again without the Dean's approval and I had to pay out of pocket to take this class because I had went down because I'd taken this class so many times it had dwindled down the percentage of classes that I needed to have passed to um, com to continue on so I stopped going to school then and I just took a semester off and just decided that I was going to um, revisit at a later time. So fast forward to 2019 and I decided that I was going to go back to school. I had gotten a new job and I really liked this job and I really liked this company and I wanted to, you know, go to school so that I was able to become a part of the HR department of this job so I wanted to go back to school for business and administration for marketing so I went back for business administration and marketing at a different school at technical college and I did it online which I wasn't a fan of doing it online but it actually worked better with my work schedule and my schedule with my daughter and I was able to do the classes at my leisure we didn't have any set lecture times that I had to go to at a specific time so I go there and you know I start to do my classes and it just I, at that time I was working two jobs I was working a full-time job and a part-time job at a nursing home and I was also taking care of my daughter and then I was doing the online schooling and I become became so stressed and overwhelmed that I just stopped and I I couldn't do it anymore it was it just became to be too much so I took this past fall semester off the entire fall semester off and I was able to you know really recollect and think about what I wanted to do you know what am I going to school for why am I going to school and where I wanted to go so I started looking into going back to school for um, 
the winter or I guess the spring of 2021 and I looked and I was like I'm gonna go back for respiratory therapy because you know even though I stopped going for that ultimately that is what I wanted to do so I went and I did my research I was gonna go back to the community college I had everything set up but before I completed my sign sign up for the community college I found another co-work accredited program that is in my area that's you know very close to me and I contacted them I toured the school I loved it I loved the staff I loved the you know the campus and like I said they are co-work accredited so I wanted you know to go to a, a co-work accredited program because that's what you need to become a respiratory therapist and I got set up to go to school this February so that is where I'm at now and I'm going to be going um, starting February 22nd I will be a respiratory therapy student and I am really excited um, to start respiratory therapy program um, it's a little different than doing it at the respiratory therapy program at the community college because the community college you actually had to be accepted into the respiratory therapy program after you finish the prerequisites at this program you are accepted into the respiratory therapy program and then you complete your your you know your gen ed studies while in the program so I thought that that was even better because I knew that for sure that I was going to be in the program so that um, made me feel a lot better starting out in the program as opposed to having to get accepted into the program. So overall, I have not had the best experience with college. I enjoyed taking the classes that I did complete. Um, you know, I enjoyed speech class, I enjoyed psychology class, I enjoyed my anatomy class. You know, that was the my favorite class that I've taken. I, I love the teacher, I love the class, I love the material. It was, you know, a great experience. Um, you know, I've hit some bumps in the road for sure, but overall, I'm glad that I had the time to trial and error and pass and fail and try different schools and try different majors because it ultimately brought me to where I am now and you know I know what I want to do I don't think that at the time when I graduated high school that I knew what I wanted to do and I feel like you know when you come out of high school you're you're very rushed they expect you to know what you want to do and where you want to do it and you know you're supposed to do it right away for me that wasn't the case because I was not sure what I wanted to do and I would not have found respiratory therapy had I not um, you know passed and failed and did my research so um, my hopes for respiratory therapy school are that I am going to um, actually move to adapt to working part-time um, and then taking of course taking care of my daughter and you know focusing on school and that's something that I've never been able to do because I've had to work full-time and and part-time you know to take care of my daughter so I think that this time is gonna be you know they say <laughs> third times the charm this is the fourth time that I've gone to school so um, four times the charm and I really really you know feel very positive and optimistic about this time going to school and I'm just gonna dedicate myself and give my all to going to school and becoming a respiratory therapist because I really want to help people and I want to be you know someone that is you know actively helping people I don't want to be on the sidelines I want to be you know on the front lines helping people so um, I do want to thank you so much for watching this video um, and listening to my story. Um, comment down below your story and I'd love to read and hear about, you know, how you became, um, figured out what you wanted to do. And um, please comment, like, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. <laughs>